You're looking at a live picture from our Martinsville New College Institute sky cam. We've had some wet weather in Martinsville here over the last 30 to 45 minutes now uh, starting to dry out a little bit in Martinsville City, but there's certainly a lot more in the way of scattered showers and thunderstorms around. Let's head on over to the radar and show you that the movement of the rain farther to the west that's moving to the southeast. The movement of the showers and thunderstorms farther to the east, moving more due east at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. So these are not the swiftest of movers. I will show you that uh, we've got some very heavy rain out across, say, uh, portions of Campbell County, southern portions of Campbell County, areas near Brookneal, south into areas near Chatham, south into areas just to the west of Danville. Danville, over the next 15 minutes, you're going to start to see the rain really intensify. As we kind of put a little bit of a track on the cell that's a little bit farther to the north, this is the same cell that once impacted Chatham. Uh, this is going to be in High Rock here, probably within the next five to eight minutes. Halifax between, say, 545 and 555 areas near Clay's Mill between say 555 and 605 and Scottsburg between 605 and 615. We've also got some very heavy rain in portions of Nelson County east of Lovingston, also into Appomattox County. Uh, it looks like the worst of the weather will be exiting Appomattox itself here momentarily, but we've got some very, very heavy rain right along Highway 24 areas, uh, say right along Highway 460 as well. Uh, we are looking at this cell probably exiting our viewing area and heading a little bit closer to perhaps Dillwyn over the next 45 to 60 minutes. So for the day tomorrow we're going to be behind a front and that means for us tomorrow we're going to see more sunshine and finally the winds are going to shift more to the west that means warmer temperatures highs tomorrow 89 89 again for us on Friday but a better chance for some thunder showers very late in the day into the evening especially in the mountains a few of those storms could pack a punch overall though Friday for about the first two thirds of the day looks pretty dry so as we head into the overnight the showers and thunderstorms are going to get on out of here by around 11 or 11 30. And then Thursday should be a day where we see more sun than clouds pretty much all day long. Maybe a few leftover clouds towards the New River Valley early in the day. And then as we head into Thursday afternoon, again, this computer model wants to generate a stray shower or two south of Roanoke. I'm not buying it. I think tomorrow is dry. However, by Friday, we start out the day dry with a mix of sun and clouds, but we're going to have a flare up of uh, more hit or miss thunder showers after about 1, 2 o'clock with the uh, pinnacle of these thunder showers, perhaps around dinner time, lasting through the mid evening hours. As far as your commute outlook for Thursday in the morning, we may have a little bit of fog around, but otherwise on Thursday, we really don't have any major concerns. Not a lot of ponding of water on area roads ways for a change as we're going to see more sunshine and we're going to be dry for the day tomorrow. But unfortunately, as we head into next week, another series of disturbances going to impact us. So Monday through Wednesday, at least we're going to have a slow moving front moving through more tropical moisture with more rounds of rain again. By early next week, we may have to once again watch out for the potential for some flooding. Down to 69 at Smith Mountain Lake, also in Blacksburg, 66 in Hot Springs, but still 74 in the Hill City. All the heat west is going to come in our direction here over the course of the next 24 hours. And for two days or so, we're really going to see a spike in temperatures. For tonight, drying out with some fog, lows 60 to 67. And for the day tomorrow, we are looking hotter. We're looking at mainly dry weather with highs in the mountains in the 70s. Everybody else will be well into the 80s. We're in the upper 80s on Friday and Saturday, middle 80s on Sunday. We're 80 to 82 Monday through Wednesday of next week. Saturday looks to be the drier of the two weekend days. By Sunday afternoon, scattered thunder showers will be around with more rain and thunder showers likely off and on Monday through Wednesday.